Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Trainings Advanced Excel for Data Analysis course. In this section here, we will look at data tables. Basically, what's a data table? It's a table of data. All right, that tells us a hell of a lot of information. So what we're going to do now is take a look at how you can quickly sensitize your numbers without having to copy and paste your analysis or copy and paste files. In other words, we want to look at a variety of different scenarios, which this part you can also integrate with our choose formulas and our switches page, our switches section, to very quickly toggle between different cases and different scenarios that you want to use when you value. What if it grows at this percent? What's the M number on my earnings per share or my uh, stock price, etc.? So let's take a look at a very short example and then a longer example and then a potential two different actual possible examples. Data table with one output. First of all, this is what I will call a one-dimensional table. A one-dimensional table basically meaning what I would do is I will have the letter A as an input. You can say letter A is something like growth rate. And I'm going to have a whole complex model that runs through a gazillion different formulas that will eventually end up in a letter B output. Now in this case, that might be your price. Let's uh, price of your share or price, stock price, whatever. Output C is yet a different output and that would be, I don't know, the uh, earnings per share or whatever. In this case here, I've kept it simple for illustration purposes. I've said that every time letter A is 2, letter B will be 2 plus letter A, 4, in other words. And every time letter A is 2, letter C is going to be 3 times that, 6 in this case. So I want to have a build a sensitive analysis that says the following. What is letter B and letter C every time letter A is 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5? Now this is very simple. You can obviously go to F13 and say, well, that equals that left arrow plus 2. And for letter C, you can say times 3. Yes, I agree with you. But pretend that this is an entire long financial model. For instance, our advanced financial modeling building the core model where you change the growth rate and you want to see what is that result, your discounted cash flow analysis. Not a simple formula. You have to have your entire model just to get there. So regardless of whatever the case is, we know that here in column F and G, we want the number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And in C, we want 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Glad to see I can still know how to add and multiply quickly off the top of my head. But in any case, you look at it there and you say, fine, let me see how I can do this without having to rebuild my analysis, because what would you do normally? You might actually go to cell C13 and type in number 1 and see what these results are and write it down or copy and paste it somewhere else, change it to 2, write it down, 3, etc. That's not what we want to do. So here's what I would like you to do. I want you to go to cell F13. And by the way, keep in mind that column C is where the actual inputs are, not this. That's just a label for me to show you. Column C is what we want. So I'm going to go to F12. I'm going to show you how to set up the data table first, and then we'll explain it. 